Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how to use the snap function on Mikabricks. As you will see, it's pretty handy. So let's start. Um, first of all, I want to attach the two hooks here on the two shafts of this part. So I select the first part and then I choose the hook here by clicking on the little dot. And then I've got two options from here. Either use the S key for snap or to use this button. And then I select the point that will match the current select, selected point, like that. Then I can move the part using the arrows. I will do the same now with the second part. So I select this point on the hook and then press the S key and choose this point here. And I can move it. I will put a brick, a one by one brick, on the top of each of them. So I select the first brick and then I press the S key and select my point. Select this brick, press S and then click on this point here. Um, from here I can actually rotate um, a group. So I will press the command or control key and select the second part. I want to rotate it around the axis of a shaft, so I will select this point here and then press M or click on this button to get the rotation gizmo and then rotate it by just dragging the uh, red circle. I can change the grid, so I've got a final adjustment, yeah, like that. Uh, I'm happy about this one and now I can do a second one for example. So control and click to select both of them and then I select the rotation point, this one, and I drag the right circle. Um, something else that you can do is that you can rotate around um, a point uh, which is uh, on a separate part. So I will press A to deselect everything, then B, drag the mouse so I can select my part and I want to rotate around this little uh, round plate here. So I can click P or select this tool here. So I click on P and then I select this point. So it's going to be the pivot point for the selection. And then from here, I just uh, rotate around whatever axis. So for example, around Y. Yep. And then now around the Z. Yep. So this is pretty easy. Um, I can switch back to the translation gizmo and then I can, for example, just snap this plate here on the top of this brick here. So I'm going to press the S key and then click here. Yeah, so pretty simple even for a complex uh, construction. Um, and then I'm going to show you now with Technic bricks. So here I'm going to remove it. The grid, and so for example, I can snap those two pins here on this beam. There, oops, I change the grid back to medium, and then I snap this one here. Let's say easy, oops, one, and then I attach the two beams. So for example, this one, I snap it there, move it. I can rotate it, so I press M. And rotate this one. I can change the grid again if I want to have a fine adjustment like that. And this one here. Yep. Yeah. Again, medium is better. So yeah, that's what you can do. And this is the way the uh, snap function is working on Mechabricks. Um, I use it all the time. So basically, my fingers are uh, always over D for duplicate, over S for snap and also the M key to change between uh, translation and rotation. Um, one other thing that I need to show you, this is the undo and redo function. So those buttons here, you can also use a uh, command or control Z and control Y. So I'm gonna undo everything. So control Z. Yep, here it is. And then I'm gonna redo everything. Uh, for now, I set it up so that it has recalled the last uh, 100 actions. Okay, so I hope you learned a few things today, and uh, see you next. Bye.